Welcome to the demo of my Mabel Architect Toolbox, the evaluation version. Okay, the first function is really meant to be used when you're designing a hull surface. Usually you start with half a hull, and in Rhino you can now modify these control points to define the shape. Okay, so we want to know what the hydrostatic properties of this surface are. Okay, so we just click on the tool. In this case, we're going to use symmetry because we only have half a hull. And we would also like to draw a graph. So now we can specify the number of sections. And the more sections we use, the more accurate the results will be. So let's just go for 50. And then you just specify the hard surface. Okay, that's it. So here you can see all the results. Um, the displaced volume is 6.5 cubic meters. Weighted surface area, CP, waterline length, and width, writing moment is zero, obviously. And yeah, so that's that are all the calculated values. And in addition, because we asked to draw a graph, we have the cross-section area curve. And let me just show you the other tool, which is the hull balance tool. So, in this case, we want to know how the hull floats at when the center of gravity is moved to a different location. So, let's just do that. So we are using the symmetry again. This time I'm not going to draw a graph. I'm just going to stick with 20 sections. So we have to specify the um, displaced volume. So 6.5 cubic meters and the center of gravity. So this is the regular center of gravity and this is one that's good off. So let's just use that one. And now the hard surface. Okay, what you can see now is that the hull floats nose heavy because we use the forward center of gravity. Another use for the hull balance tool is to calculate the writing moment of a heel hull. In this case, we have a hull which is healed for 20 degrees. You can see it floats incorrectly. And we can just use the tool to balance it and calculate all the hydrostatics, including writing moment. In this case, we're not going to use symmetry. And 50 sections, displacement, center of gravity, and surface. Okay, so now we've got the balanced hull, we've got all the hydrostatics, and including the writing moment. This is the end of the demo. I hope you liked the Naval Architect Toolbox for Rhino.